Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, I'm Mary. I post fashion, beauty, and health and wellness videos, but today's video is a classic monthly current favorites. Um, so I post these every month. Um, if you're new, if not, then yeah, today it's August favorites. The things I've been loving this month, a little bit of fashion, beauty, health and wellness, a little bit of everything. So honestly, let's just hop right on in. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, send it to a friend and give it a like. Um, but I'm gonna grab my phone because I have my current faves on my phone. Um, and so uh, I just feel like I should just, yeah, honestly, let's just hop right on into it. So the first two are skincare faves. Um, the first one is this Skin Better Science Auto Defense Serum. You guys, I have had this now for less than a week and I'm not even kidding you, it skyrocketed to the top of my favorites because it works. Like literally, I use one pump in the morning and my skin, after using it, my skin's never been this radiant. It's so, it's just amazing. And what it does is it protects your skin from any pollutants. And so I think especially living in Chicago, um, and if you live in a city, I just think it's really important to like be aware of that kind of stuff. And this stuff works. I'm not kidding you. Just give it a try. Um, it's, yeah, the Alto Defense Serum. And all you do is I just, it says morning and evening. I just do it in the morning. I tone and then put this on. And literally throughout the day, I notice my skin just gets glowier and glowier. Um, and I... I am pretty like I don't spend a ton of money on skincare and this is a little bit more of a pricey of an item but I would say like it's totally worth it because it's such a preventative um, and protective um, serum and I really think that anyone can benefit from it so the skin better science Alta defense serum is number one number two the revisions you youthful lip replenisher also the lighting just massively changed sorry but this is the best lip balm i've ever used i'm not even kidding you it's way better than the laneige it's a little bit cool once you put it on and it has like a little metal applicator this is actually metal so just put it on and what i like about it is it's like glossy i have it on right now it's glossy but it's not too glossy and it's not like it's not super sticky like i could kiss my boyfriend with this on and he wouldn't be bothered by it um and if i wear like the lip slip by sarah half he's like oh stop but anyways um <laughs> i love that and what i love about it the most is that it stays on literally for hours like the laneige i love but it comes off after two seconds this does not do that so yeah absolutely loving that and honestly that's all i have to say about it you need it. It's again a little bit of a splurge, but I think it's worth it. Next is the MEJ claw clip. Okay, I honestly wasn't like on the MEJ trend, but then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy one. I thought it was such like an overpriced kind of stupid item, but I think it's so cute. I ended up getting this one, and as you can tell, it's a little bit like glimmery, and it's seriously so cute, and it actually changes colors in the sunlight. And I don't know, I'm just really into it, and I think that it's really well made it keeps my hair up and it's like so trendy but it's like glimmery and just adds a fun like touch to any outfit i feel like it's in, in general my style is pretty like refined and like i don't wear like neon or like anything sparkly or anything like that but i just find this as like a fun little switch up you know so the mej claw clips i think are so cute i think the flower ones are cute i think like Honestly, any of them are super cute. So yeah, okay, next I'm actually wearing, and it's mixed metal watches. Honestly, you can literally get these like from so many different brands. Um, this one I've actually had for years. As you can tell, it's gold and silver. Uh, the brand for this one is Raymond Wheel. Um, I can probably find this one and link it down below. Um, I have had my eye on, my sister has this Rolex one that I've had my eye on for a while, but haven't pulled the trigger on that yet. Um, so I love this one though, it's a great watch. Um, but I know in terms of affordable options, I'll definitely find some and link them down below because there are probably so many affordable options. And um, I feel like, yeah, just like mixed metal in general, like the gold and the silver, it just looks so classy. 
and timeless um and just like expensive so like you can find um or i'll find for you uh like a great affordable option um that still looks like super high end um so i love mixed metal watches honestly i really like mixed metals in general i just think it's really pretty i think it's pretty when like like earrings especially like gold and silver like vibes actually funny story about mixed metals so me and my friends were on a walk this past summer and it was when mixed metals first started coming in and my friend natalie said to my friend grace and she was like oh my god like you're so on the mixed metal trend i love it like that's just like so cute and like i feel like i need to get on it or something and grayson goes what like what are you talking about and that was like your earrings like gold and silver and gray was like no these are from target and they're tarnishing <laughs> and we were all like oh my god <laughs> but i just thought it was funny anyways but yeah um okay then next is sleep sets i have been on this trend for a while but i don't think i've formal formal formerly talked about it um this one is just a little free people number i literally am wearing it all the time it's a little this one's a romper but i think like just matching sets in general are so cute i'll link a few down below for you guys um i have one from abercrombie i have one from victoria's secret i just think they're so cute and fun and like cozy especially if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend like i just think it's so i don't know i think it's so fun to just be able to like throw like feel cute even when you're going to bed you know what i mean um and like i have been getting ready for bed earlier and earlier like you guys i literally think i'm gonna do my evening skincare after i film this video and it is 5 p.m right now so that's how my life is um but i'm spending more and more time in the pjs so why not just feel like confident comfy cute you know so sleep sets you always want to feel put together so like i personally sleep in my jewelry and i love having that glow from the skincare and a sleep set i just feel so like good and ready for life so sleep sets are where it's at um next is i have had these sunglasses since literally like high school but i've been obsessed with them lately they're the Ray-Ban Wayfarers, literally so simple. Mine are the ones that fold, and I personally love the ones that fold um, because they're so compact and easy. But I just think they're so classic, and like, are you kidding? You can't go wrong with this, you know what I mean? It's like, it's a classic look. You, there's nothing really to it, you know what I mean? It's not too intense. I just feel like I look like a weirdo in the sunglasses that are like this. Um, <laughs> but with these I feel so good and confident and what I like is that they cover your face too so like especially like they cover your under eyes which can get really sun damaged if they don't get covered um, and things like that so I'll try and find the foldable ones if not I'll just link the Wayfarers down below but I'm loving my Ray-Ban Wayfarers as of the lately um, I always have a book rack so you know I came in clutch the one thing um the surprisingly simple truth behind extraordinary results by gary keller and jay papasan it's so good you guys should totally read it um i'm not quite finished with it yet but i'm almost done and what i love about it is it talks all about narrowing in on what you care about and being the best at that in order to achieve success and i think that's so true like every successful entrepreneur that i know has like a really really specific niche and uh, so finding that one thing that you're passionate about and going at it with full force and cutting out the noise um, is what this book is all about and like how to do that in a strategic way. So I really like it. Then, so that's for um, nonfiction. And then for fiction, I keep forgetting the name of this book that I'm currently reading. I am loving it. It's by um, Ellen Aline Hinderbolt. She's the one who wrote 28 Summers. Lauren Elizabeth said this was her favorite book. It's called The Perfect Couple and it's in a series but honestly like i read the first book and then this is the third book of the series and they're just they just have similar characters so it really doesn't matter what order you read them in um but the perfect couple i'll link it down below you guys it's really good it's like a mystery and i've flown through it i started it like maybe two days ago and i'm almost done with it so it's so good i can't wait to read after this literally that's my plan is i'm gonna read I'm gonna go to foxtrot and get a sparkling water and then i'm gonna come home do my skincare and meet him so um but anyways i am loving 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 those and then i always talk about a podcast that i've been loving 
as well, or at least I try to. That's actually not the case every single time. But I am currently loving Life with Mariana, which is with Mariana Hewitt and Life with Mariana, Mariana maybe. She is one of the co-founders of Summer Fridays and she just has on a lot of like entrepreneurs, um, a lot of people in the skincare world, things like that. Um, on her podcast, what I like about it is it's super informative, but it's short. Like her episodes are all under an hour, um, but she asks really great questions. I really like her. Right now I'm listening to the one with the Kosas founder, um, but that's been like a part of my weekly podcast rotation. And so I've really been loving it. Um, I've just been loving podcasts in general, like on my walks and stuff like that. It's such a great way to just like learn more um, and optimize your time. So yeah. Um, next is seaweed salad. You guys, I've been making homemade seaweed salad. I'm going to link the recipe for you down below. If you are a member of my newsletter, you would have heard about it already because I talked about it on there. If you aren't a member of my newsletter and want to be in on it, then just DM me on Instagram and we'll get you signed up. It's bi-weekly, so twice a month, and it's amazing. I post current faves, a good quote, wellness practice I'm loving, things like that. So anyways, the seaweed salad is fire. I love getting seaweed salad when I go out to sushi. Like, it's my favorite thing, literally. I'll even get it at Whole Foods sometimes, but it's always loaded with MSG, and like, I think a little bit of MSG is fine here and there, like whatever, like it's life, you know what I mean? But what I hate about MSG, what I hate about seaweed salad and when I buy it, is that my fingers turn into sausages. It literally drives me crazy because then I can't get my rings off. <laughs> and it just makes me crappy. You know what I mean? Like some of us, we just have those things that we hate and I hate when my fingers get sausagey just because I already have such like weird hands. Like I have little boy hands. I'm totally fine with it. Like I love my hands, <laughs> but you know what I mean? And so when they get even more puffy, it just really bothers me. So I've been making my own from home super easy honestly kind of better like it definitely doesn't taste the same but it's good um and i would really recommend it especially if you're like trying to impress someone <laughs> make them some seaweed salad <laughs> um and it's so it's really affordable super easy so i'll link the recipe down below and i think you just need to hop on the trend i really do and then send me pictures if you end up making it um because that will make me happy so yeah okay the final item, Calm Liquid Magnesium. I've been having this every night um, to help with sleeping. Probably shouldn't have it every night because they're also gonna get dependent on it, but I love this stuff. Um, it's literally just a magnesium supplement. What I honestly, I just love, there's a lot of things I love about it. I love that it just really helps calm me down I love that most of us are actually are magnesium deficient and so it's a great way to get my magnesium in. So I love that. Really helps with my digestion, love that. And I love the ritual behind it. Like Blake and I have this ritual now where we have dinner. So lately, let me just tell you a little bit. Lately, we've been having dinner late. So we'll finish up dinner around 8.45, nine, sometimes the 9.30, honestly. We've been eating kind of late. So let's say it's nine, we finish up dinner, we clean up the kitchen. And then I boil my hot water, make my calm, go and do my gratitude journal while it's cooling off, and then come back and grab my calm and drink my calm. And it's just a very nice little like ritual that I've been loving lately. So I think you should try it, um, especially if you're having issues sleeping, I really recommend you give it a try. My mom has been like on the calm trend for a while and we grew up drinking it and then i just got back into it recently upon moving to chicago and i really love it so yeah that is all i have for you guys today um my current favorites as of august how crazy is it that it is already almost september it's like geez louise time is flying um but if you made it this far thank you so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you and yeah I will be posting twice a week starting next week. This video is going up on Friday. And so I'm actually going to switch my posting schedule to Tuesdays and Thursdays because I am starting a full-time job. I'm working for Uber, um, like Uber headquarters. I am doing sales for them for Uber Eats. And so I think it will just make more sense for me to be posting twice a week um, since I'm going to have a full-time job. So yeah, but... Don't worry, this YouTube channel is not stopping anytime soon. I freaking love this. So yeah, 
Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button below. Follow me on Insta. It's linked down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye, guys.